book 188 good morning good morning welcome back to morning motivation with matthew daniels and today i'm going to tell you guys about the extinction of the dinosaurs that's right the extinction of the dinosaurs but what is matthew daniels talking about um a long long time ago on a planet now known as kepler 22b a civilization of intelligent beings survived and thrived this planet which sits around 640 light years away from the earth was inhabited by a multiplicity of beings like our own planet and it was ruled over by an intelligent species of beings known as superionians Unlike the Earth, however, all Superionians lived under one governmental rule which consisted of a council of 12 supreme judges. Each one of these 12 judges, who were my ancestors no less, oversaw 12 additional judges who were over specific sectors of their society. These 144 additional judges each oversaw 12 lesser judges themselves who assisted them in overseeing their personal sectors. And it was this total of 1,728 judges who ultimately ruled the planet of roughly 1 billion Superionians. One day, when one of the 144 judges had served his full term as a judge, it came within his heart to refuse to give up his seat of power. To achieve this goal of maintaining his position, he whispered wicked things into the ears of the other 144 judges, and he convinced 100 of them to assist him in his unrighteous cause. These Superionians started a war against the 12 supreme rulers and sought to take control of the planet by force. For the first time in eons, the life fluid known as Floridium was spilled on the floors of the high court. None of the supreme rulers were killed, but many of the 1,728 judges lost their lives because they were not prepared to face the violence which was brought to them. The 12 supreme rulers were horrified at this display of savagery and they immediately employed all means available to them to put an end to the war. They captured all of the rebellious judges and sentenced them to be exiled for their crimes. A great pod was built and all of the 101 who rebelled were locked inside of it. Then they were launched out into space, being punished to live out the remainder of their days on a planet 640 light years away. This planet of exile had been known to the Superionians for a long time and it was chosen because it was somewhat suitable to their anatomy. The great exile pod flew through the darkness of space until it entered the atmosphere of the earth and crashed down somewhere on the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. The crash caused major damage to the ecosystem, but many animals and plants survived. However, the pod was also equipped with tools and instruments that allowed the exiled Superionians to terraform the Earth to make it more like their home planet. This act of terraforming was too much for the creatures called dinosaurs to bear, and slowly they all began to die off, and a type of hyper-evolution began on planet Earth. Before long, the landscape of Earth was changed, the dinosaurs were no more, and due to genetic experiments and hyper-evolution, the Earth produced its own intelligent species which would come to be known as mankind. And so, the morning motivation of today is the extinction of the dinosaurs. There is more history which is not recorded than history that is recorded. So be careful when you think you know all there is to know based on what has been revealed to you. Indeed, the universe is vast and the mysteries are many and knowledge is severely limited by what you can access. So, with these things being considered, you must always follow your heart and you can never blindly follow the ideas of other men. The reason you are here is impressed upon your very soul and you must look deep within yourself to find the answers. Today, do not simply believe the stories you are told. Instead, believe the feelings that come from your heart and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.